Hello! In this video we're going to be looking at a combustion problem. So let's get started. So we have a gas composed of 250 moles of CH4, 30 moles of CO, and 20 moles of O2. Okay, and it's going to be entering a combustion chamber and we're using enough air to fully combust these reactants. And we're also told that carbon monoxide is converted 100%, but only 80% of methane is converted. And they want to, they want us to uh, find out what the molar composition of the stack gas of the stack gas is as uh, percentages on a wet basis. So all this means is include H2O. Okay, so where do we start with all this information? So anytime you have combustion problems, you have to know the combustion reaction. So our first combustion reaction is CH4 plus O2, which forms H2O and CO2. And of course we have to balance this. There's going to be two right here for four hydrogens and that's uh, four oxygens, so a two right here. And then our second reaction is the combustion of carbon monoxide plus O2. That's going to give carbon dioxide. And you see here that we have to put a one half and that'll balance this out. So we were told that we had 250 moles of methane. And how many uh, moles of oxygen do we need to combust this? So from our balance equation we can see that we need twice as many moles of oxygen to fully um, combust uh, 250 moles of methane. So that's going to be 500 moles of O2 and to fully combust the 30 moles of CO we need half the number of moles, so that's just 15 moles of O2. So you can see that we need 515 moles of O2 to fully combust these uh, two reactants here. But we have 20 moles of O2 also in this stream entering the uh, combustion chamber. So uh, do not forget this uh, important detail. So because we need 515 and we already have 20 moles, that means that the oxygen in the air is going to be 495 moles of O2. And in air, we uh, know that there's 79% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, so we can use that relationship and say that there are 0.21 moles of oxygen for every one mole of air. And doing that calculation, we'll get that we need 2,357 moles of air. Alright, so on a fresh sheet of paper, let's write all the information that we now have. So going into our combustion chamber, we have 2,357 moles of air. And to break that down into its components, so that's 495 moles of O2 and 1,862 moles of N2. All right, and we also have our original um, gas stream going in, which was 250 moles of CH4, 30 moles of carbon monoxide and 20 moles of O2. Okay, and exiting, 
we want to find out the moles of each component so we can find the molar composition. Okay, so what I like to do is look at each component and ask myself if it's involved in a reaction or how it's changing. So the nitrogen is going to be the same in the product stream. We're going to have the same amount because it's not reacting with anything. All right, and the methane, we were told that 80% reacted. So that means that 20% is left or 50 moles of methane is left over. And from our reaction, we know that 200 moles of methane reacted and it formed two different products. It formed H2O and CO2. And how much uh, H2O? It formed twice as much H2O and the same amount, one-to-one -one ratio of CO2. So that's equivalent to 400 moles of H2O and 200 moles of CO2. Okay, so uh, that's taken care of. That's taken care of. And the 30 moles of carbon monoxide uh, converted one to one directly to carbon dioxide. So we also have 30 moles of CO2 here coming from CO. All right, so now that's left is the oxygen. So there's two ways to do that. You can either do an oxygen balance or you can look at what reacted and what would be left. So I would like to do an oxygen balance. So coming in, we have the 495 plus half of 30 is 15 plus 20, and that's going to be equal to, coming out, half of 400 is 200 plus 200 plus the 30. We could have just rewritten this as 230 moles of CO2 plus the O2 left over. So that uh, simplifies to 530 equals 430 plus O2. So the amount of O2, we must have 100 moles of O2. All right? So we can write that here, 100 moles of O2, and these are, all this is our total composition, all the different components of our moles coming out. And what we want to do is calculate the molar composition. And we get that by taking the mole of each component, dividing it by the total, and then multiplying by 100. So first we need the total. So adding up all these, we get 2,642 moles total. All right? And we're going to be taking each component here, as I said, dividing it, by 2,642 and multiplying it by 100 and that'll give us our molar composition and when we do that we get 70.5 percent and 2 15.1 percent H2O 1.89 percent CH4 8.71% CO2 and 3.79% O2. So that's our final answer. And remember, the H2O we included 
because this is, they said it was a wet basis. If it, if it was a dry basis, we would not have included the H2O. All right, so I hope you found this helpful, and if so, please check out the other videos.